By committing the Khojala genocide, the Armenian nationalists pursued the following goals. To intimidate the people of Azerbaijan, to create panic among the people, break their determination to struggle, and make them put up with the fact of occupation of the lands. However, the cunning and ruthless enemy failed to reach its goal. Defenders of Khojala did not throw their heads in the struggle against the cruel enemy and heroically battling have shown an example of devotion to the motherland. In the international practice conducted military operation, there is a rule by which, in presence of storm in the place inhabited locality, attacker side gives a chance to the civil people to leave the inhabited locality safety, as it is known free corridor. This is not just humanity, but also responsibility of the strong side to keep the rights of the people and its duty to obey the international established and general accepted regularity of the conducted military. In the claims of Armenians, it was thought that the attacker side left a free corridor for peaceful people of Hojale, however, they did not use this way and only this brought for many sacrifices. Armenian nationalists differ from the normal people in everything, and of course, in this corridor case too. For them, the corridor is not considered as an important rule which they should maintain, but it was a good method that could be advantageous to try on, and they have tried it on before and every time when it seems like important to them. By results of Pojali corridor, it's not hard to imagine how it was made up. The city was encircled by three sides and was left just by one side free. Rescuing population of the city from mortal danger was throwing itself from side to side and was grouping for free passageway and running crazed by the corridor. Corridor of Hojale was established at the night. People were jumping out of their beds and house to the snow. Half closed, in other words, in February's vehicle in the mountains of Karabakh and were running to get away from this hell. The flow of people, which was crazed from ear, was running from near their tolls with submachine guns. Children were screaming, falling down and hurting knees very badly. The way was not for children and it was not for all the people too. The normal way should not be as rocky mountains, insidiously powered with snow and covered with dangerous slippery ice at the dark winter night. At midnight, people under the bullet train ran into the forest and mountains barefooted. The land called home was in the hands of enemy. Poor residents did not know that the tragedy was ahead. Running away was not a tragedy. In reality, it was happiness that they could run away and save their lives. Residents of Pojale left there full of houses and all their wells. They could not even put on their warm dresses. Someone's money and wells and someone's old and ill parents stayed in the burnt houses. In the stampede, someone lost their children and could not run. The facts mentioned above confirm that the intentional slaughter of Pojala town civilians on the 25th and 26th of February 1992, including children, elderly and women, was directed to their mass extermination only because they were Azerbaijanis. The Pojala town was chosen as a stage for further occupation and ethnic cleansing of Azerbaijani territories, creating panic and fear before horrifying massacre. It should be noted that Armenian officials denied their responsibility for the crimes committed during the conflict, including against the population of Pojale, ALF falsifying facts and sharing own interpretations of them, which deviate not only from reality, but also from elementary logic. Nevertheless, even the subtlest propaganda will never manage to disprove the facts that speak of situation diametrically opposite that represented by Armenian side.
Apart from the considerable facts in possession of the law enforcement agencies of the Republic of Azerbaijan, the responsibility of Armenia is also documented by numerous independent sources, as well as by eyewitnesses of this tragedy and the evidences of the Armenian military that took part in the siege of Kojale. The actions mentioned above were deliberate and intended to completely or partially annihilate the people on the basis of their ethnic belonging, which according to the international and domestic laws is an act of genocide. The evil deed and vandalism committed by Armenian butchers must be regarded in the same way as the above-mentioned tragedies recognized by humankind as true genocide. Peace-loving people all over the planet, the civilized nations, authoritative international organizations, and the global community should be aware of this bitter truth, and that crime against the humanity should receive its legal assessment. According to the international law, genocide is the act against the world and civilization and regarded as the worst international crime. The UN Convention on Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide defines the legal framework of the crime of genocide. The Armenian's aggression against Azerbaijan manifests all attributes of genocide enshrined in the Convention. The policy of terrorism pursued by the country, aggressor, has been taking place for many years before the very eyes of the global community, even though, according to the norms of international law, the principles of the United Nations and OSCE, inviolability of borders of the states must be treated with respect, and infringement of their territorial integrity and sovereignty is inadmissible. The UN Security Council adopted four resolutions on unconditional liberation of the occupied lands of Azerbaijan, but the aggressor Armenia has been ignoring these resolutions. Since 1994, on the initiative of the nationwide leader Heydar Aliyev, the government and the parliament of Azerbaijan have been carrying out successive works to bring the truth about the horrible crimes by Armenian nationalists against Azerbaijanis, including those committed in Khojale, and for all this to be recognized as act of genocide. On the one hand, it's our human and civil duty to the memory of defenders and martyrs of Khojale, and on the other hand, it's an important condition for such severe crimes against the humanity not to be repeated in the future. The Milli Majlis of Azerbaijan has declared the 26th of February the day of Khojale genocide. On this day, the whole Azerbaijan commemorates the victims of Khojale genocide. Ousted from the homelands and scattered in 48 regions of Azerbaijan, today the residents of Khojale are living with the hope for the fair settlement of the Ahlet Karabakh conflict, repulsing the Armenian's aggression against Azerbaijan and restoration of territorial integrity of the country. They address the world nations and international organizations, urging them to defend truth and justice and condemn the genocide committed in Khojale. The culprits, organizers and executors of Khojale genocide must deservedly be punished. That crime must not remain unpunished.